Hello everyone, this here is not a review, it's just me looking at a thing and talking about it. Because I don't do Gundam reviews, Gundam is just a hobby for me, or Gunpla. Plastic model building, this right here is the Bandai Master Grade, or MG, Sazabi Verka. And it's a, it's a big model, quite a large model, because in-universe it's quite a large thing. It's the big, big bad guy mech from uh, Char's counter-attack. I had this built for about a year now and finally, finally got through going through the decals and giving it some, some top coats. This is a fantastic model. Uh, I enjoy putting it together. It was one of my first MG models that I ever put together. It has a lot of pieces, kind of has a, has a PG sort of feel to it in some ways, a little bit of PGU because it's got a lot of interior details that, you know, get layered up quite a bit or a little bit of that that MGEX strike uh, freedom kind of feel where you have different different layers to um, to the to the frame you know you got kind of base frame pieces then you've got exo frame sort of layers over it with the metallic injection and then other layers above that including of course the uh, the armor and a lot of the armor pieces on this are able to open up and, and fold open I do have this in its fully folded open form right now is showing up showing off just about as much of the detail as it can i don't think i left anything completely closed up there might be uh, one or two small bits that aren't open as as far as they will go but i'm not going to go through showing the full transformations and everything because again this is not a not a review i just wanted to give my thoughts about this since i it is a rather large kit <laughs> that i uh, put a fair amount of time into i did a little bit of extra uh, uh detailing work on this just just a little bit but um, like I said, I only just got to finishing up putting the decals on it because the decal sheet for this has, uh, I believe it's over 200 individual items on it, individual little little bits and it's water slides. And a lot of them look the same or look almost the same, but they're not. So you have to be extra careful. It takes extra time looking up the parts. I see that one has fallen off here. Unfortunately, because time is extraordinarily limited for me in general in life, I do have to take shortcuts, and one of the shortcuts involves uh, doing my top coats much faster than than you're supposed to. And I, I did lose a, a decal, or I think I, I think two fell off. But fortunately, that wasn't that big of a deal because the kit still looks really, really good. This mostly has satin or semi-gloss top coat on it, but I did put gloss on the the fuel tanks back here. They, discardable external fuel tanks. Let's get in a little bit closer and look at some of the details. One thing I actually was not particularly happy about with this kit was the area beneath the head, so all around the neck there. By default, that is just plain medium dark gray, and it's that that soapy color, that, that IBO uh, NG frame or full uh, FM frame gray that's just completely nondescript and, and gives you no oomph, no connection to a possible reality or anything. And it just really took away from the quality feeling of the kit, in my opinion. So I dry brushed on, well, brushed and dry brushed on uh, over the, the pipes there just a little bit to get some, some silver on there. And then the ends have some brown on them. And then I add a little bit of gold to make them look a little bit, a little bit bronze and just you know, make it look a lot less boring. Otherwise, there's good color separation. Uh, this does have panel lining these molds have gotten a little bit old a few of the spots have poor lines that ideally would need to be rescribed if you've got a ton of time on your hands which i never do time is the thing that i have the absolute least of in life um uh, so i only did a couple of of rescribes on the on the shield in particular where i just couldn't i, I couldn't stand not having panel lines showing up clearly but uh, these older molds have lost some of their crispness but i did try to get in as much panel lining as I re reasonably could to get the, the lines to, to show up. And yeah, it, it looks pretty decent, especially with the, again, I think it's over 200 decals that get uh, applied to this thing, which adds adds a lot. I think that some of the spots where decals are added are, are a bit much, I'd say probably up here, I'm not the biggest fan of these. And also when you come down, yeah that kind of stuff. The, the bigger lines don't feel that appropriate to me, but it's, you know, it's an artistic choice. I could always leave those off if I really, really dislike them. The shield looks really nice. Kind of wish that that was a shiny gold like, uh, like Sinanju, but on the other hand, maybe, 
not being too too showy is a good thing. So down here, these have to be rescribed because they were they were really bad. They were just not holding ink whatsoever for me. Uh, the lower parts of the legs open up more than anything on this and have a whole lot of inner frame detail. I did just a tiny bit of of uh, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Sorry, try brushing. Uh, been a very long week. <laughs> dry brushing to get just a little bit of the, the detail to show up more. There are uh, rocket nozzles, verniers all underneath all of these spots. Lots of lots of boosters. All of this opens up on the back. The the back flap of the the waist skirt opens up completely. So you've got the kind of hydraulic ram here that opens up, and then these are actually able to to pop out. Uh, this will rotate forward. It might be just a little bit a little bit sticky right now, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. But you can see the alternate color here with the metallic injection uh, parts in silver. And it's nice to have that consistency going throughout a lot of the inner frames. When you open things up, you see a lot of that silver, which gives you a nice contrast. Otherwise, this has two main colors of red, excuse me, three main colors of red plastic. That's the, the dark over here, the medium regular red here, and then a light, like a pale red, like a, you know, that, that char red. And then they also add in one additional red, which tries to go towards the the darker side, but they do it with with uh, stickers, actual stickers, not decals. Uh, so that right there, that little bit of red is actually tries to, I guess I thought it went towards the darker color, but it actually goes towards the medium, more normal red, um, just where they wanted to have a little bit of color separation right there on a part where it was such a thin piece that it would be difficult to insert an entire additional piece to get that color difference. The fin funnels back here are all individual things. They all can come out and then you can uh, you can open up the sides. The four little little winglets come out to the sides. They flap open and then the, uh, the emitter sticks out and there's a little RCS thruster unit at, at the end of it is what it looks like. For the weapons, you can split this out. So this is this is a, a double a double hilt setup here, and I've got the maximum number of effect parts in it that do come with the kit. You can split this out. Uh, you can run it as two beam sabers if you want instead. So you get another one of these, or you can run it with two just of the regular axes. I forget the heat. What do you call this? From the original Zaku? I don't. I don't, I don't remember. I'm sure comments will blow up <laughs> with repeats of answers to that. But you can also uh, use just the, the longer blade. And I've just put as many blades together as reasonably possible because I just wanted to have them having one melee weapon in one hand with the maximum number of, of uh, effect parts in it. That would fit just because it, it, you know, it, it, it looks cool. It makes for a lot of a lot of contrast. Stands out. Now, the set does also come with additional weapons. You've got... This one, I'm not gonna look up the the names of them. You can just look on all the all the wiki pages. I'm not trying to memorize the names of of each thing, and I have no particular uh, strong connection to any one suit in the Gunpla franchise at this time because I'm still going through learning about different ones and uh, you know obviously buying buying kits of different ones and enjoying. Not looking for recommendations as always. I'm never looking for recommendations or for anybody to tell me how to enjoy the hobby. I'm enjoying it quite a bit myself and I will continue to do so. Finding kits that I like, buying them and building them at my own pace with my own skill level such as it is, and especially limited by the tiny, tiny amount of time that I actually have to work on these things. So here's another of the weapons and I already showed you that you've got this other beam saber so you can run those just uh, one in each hand if you wanted. You know, whatever combination that you personally want is available. This is surprisingly articulatable. This has a lot of articulation in the feet. I think it's four different sections. So you got the toe, kind of the arch, the, well, the toe, ball, arch, and heel are all independently adjustable. You can kind of make them curl down like that, which is unexpected. The legs uh, at the at the knees, you got double jointing right there. That works really, really well. Let me at least show you that. I don't, I don't want to mess a whole bunch of stuff up because there are a lot of panels that are you know, they've been opened up and if you if you start to mess with things too much you're gonna start closing those panels accidentally and i want to put this on display soon again op <laughs> operative uh concept for me is absolutely limited time i cannot be wasting time but you see how the the kneecap 
is able to slide back behind there. And if I were to move this out of the way a little bit, can I get that just a little bit farther? Yeah, that'll slide all the way out. It gives you, there's actually quite a lot of range of motion there. But if I tighten this back up, see it comes in all nice and tight like that. Similarly, get the double, double joints for the elbows up here. Those can go all the way. Sorry about the lack of focus. This is really struggling to focus with the red. Reds and blacks always have, have quite a bit of, of issue when there's a whole lot of them, but uh, this is actually pretty smooth and gives you quite a lot of range. And they have the suggestions on the back of hydraulic rams. Uh, I believe I did paint those in. I don't think that those came with the, with the silver color inside, but as you, as you act, actuate the second, the second layer of articulation there, those start to expose themselves up. So, you know, in spite of this being a big chonky thing, it's actually able to move around quite a bit. These things can rotate side to side and up and down a little bit, uh, a little bit more useful when you've got them folded up and you're in more of a flight mode. I've not looked into options for posing this in the air as yet, uh, you know, to see what, what folks would actually do to try to get this looking like it's, like it's flying around. You can see more of the verniers, uh, you know, that are, that are hidden underneath. I did matte top coating in a, a few spots un underneath here so it wouldn't shine quite as much. And uh, this is compatible with the standard lights, you know, just the regular lights. So you're able to, to shine the, the mono eye nice and green. And, and that's just it, you know, just one point of, one point of, of light on the thing. Uh, not, the, not the most impressive unless you, of course, get an aftermarket kit or do your own custom lighting on one of these. But that's Sazbi Verka. Again, it was one of the first MGs that I, that I built. It's large. People look up to it because it's large. It has a high part count. It's a Verka, and a lot of people like the, the Xeonic style. I personally am not a huge fan of the Xeonic style, but some of the things, some of the, some of the mechs that they've done from that general design family, I think are, are interesting enough, and this is one of them. What I like most about this, though, is just the build. Just the build. It's it's pretty good. Oh, a lot of people don't like the the emotive manipulators, the fully articulated hands that are mold in place with multiple types of plastic and all of the joints, all the realistic phalanges in there. I find them to be not strong enough. That's true. They, they don't have a tremendous amount of strength. They have a tremendous amount of articulation instead. And they do not... Uh, this kit did not include just uh, static single pose hands. So you can't swap those in. It does limit you a little bit with some of the some of the poses you can get. But fortunately, of course, they do use the slot system, slot and tab system to actually connect a weapon in the hand. Uh, and then over on this side for the for the shield, as usual, it's just attached to the arm. They give you a couple options for that because you can also rotate the mount here. So this allows the shield. This is a sliding semicircle uh, mount that allows the shield to come towards the back or towards the side and then towards the back, all the way towards the front, or you can flip that around and connect right to there. There's actually a little, little clip mount, a little hinge mount right there. You can clip this mount, the other side of this mount, up into there to have it just attached to the side of the, uh, of the armor, which is a, a cool little, little additional trick. But I'm gonna put this back on display where it has not been for a little while, but had been for quite some time, just not in its fully finished form. Thank you very much for watching. I will continue to, like I said, buy and build whatever Gundams I personally choose and want. I've got plenty of things in my backlog. Again, not looking for recommendations, not looking for anybody to tell me how to play Gunpla. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.